year to year this children this lesson is very interesting god has gifted us with a beautiful years and years are helpful for our senses the sense of hearing in this lesson you will find very interesting this lesson is very interesting as you can see the picture here who has got my ears children carefully observe the picture you can see an elephant a giraffe deer and a rat rabbit now carefully observe you find some difference here let's read are this animal looking funny the artist has drawn wrong ears on the heads of the animals so what did you observe in this picture the ears are wrong give correct ears to the animals in the space below can you see this elephant what kind of ears are this whose ears are this it is ears of a mouse okay then you can see a giraffe ear giraffe the ears are of elephant okay so you have to do this correction in the space below let us see there is a column animal and its ears you must have seen uh, elephant has ears of mouse rabbit has ear of see rabbit you can see the ears are of giraffe mouse mouse has ear of this dog this is a dog okay and giraffe has ears of elephant dog has dog has see these are the long ears whose ears are long rabbit rabbit has a long ear okay buffalo buffalo has ear of deer and deer has ears of buffalo okay these are the ears of buffalo children you have to fill up this let's go to next page different animals have different kinds of ears among the animals given below which one have ears that you can see and in which animals you cannot see the ears write the table below children see our ears are external touch your ears and see they are external they are outside you can see the ears but there are animals whose ears can't be seen so you must have not observed now start observing the animals around those who have ears and you can see them in the above picture you have seen all animals those who have ears that is deer tiger buffalo giraffe elephant cat dog these animals they have ears but you can from this you have to find out the names are given here so deer yes it will go here frog frog ears are not seen so you will write it here fish fish ears you cannot see okay so you will write here ant we cannot see ear they don't have external ears crow the ears cannot be seen tiger yes you can see tiger's ear sparrow sparrow is a bird you cannot see external ears buffalo you will write it here snake ears cannot be seen you can write it here snakes cannot hear okay lizard lizard also you will write animal whose ears we cannot see pig here you will write it in this column okay pig ears you can see duck duck ears again you cannot see giraffe you will write it here elephant you can see the ears and even cat so all this will come here okay do you think animals whose ears we cannot see really do do not have ears the question here is that animals those who don't have ears can they hear or not okay so here are the here is a picture of 
hen, birds, duck, crow. Okay. Name the animals in the picture. Can you see their ears? No, we cannot see their ears. Find out uh, they all have ears even though we cannot see them. These birds, they can listen though we cannot see their ears. Okay. Find out other animals which have ears that we cannot see. Write their names. Now you can write the names of other animals. Uh, see, there are fish. Crocodile doesn't have ears. Fly, mosquitoes. And you can write down their names. Read and write. An animal with ears like fan. So you know which is that animal which has ears like fan. Elephant. Animal with ears like leaves. Hmm? So it looks like leaves, you know. Rabbit has ears like leaves. An animal with ears on the top of its head. So rabbit again has ears which is top on its head. Okay, an animal with ears on both the sides of his head. The dog has ears on both the sides. Okay, so write down here dog. You know very well that ears help us to hear. In some animals you can see the ears. In some you cannot. We can not see a bird's ears. Okay, a bird has a tiny holes on both sides of the head. Generally the holes are covered with feathers. They help the bird to hear. If you look carefully, you will see tiny holes on lizard's head. These are its ears. A crocodile has ears like this. But we cannot see a crocodile also has ears like this. But we cannot see them easily. So you have seen birds also have ears but they, they are not visible. It's like a hole when it is covered with feather. We'll move to next topic. Whose skin? Now you know how to recognize animals by their ears. Let us see if we can recognize animals by their skin. So we have recognized animals by their ears. Now every animal has a different skin texture. Okay. The texture is different and from that we come to know which animal is which. So very easy to find is zebra. Zebra is a black and white pattern. So you have to see a silhouette. This is a silhouette of an animal. This one is zebra. Okay. Then which animal is deer? You will match it from here. Here this is deer. Okay. Which animal is tiger? This is tiger. Okay. The tiger will go here. Which animal is squirrel? Which skin? Which skin is of squirrel? This is skin of squirrel. Okay. This is skin of squirrel. And which is leopard? This is leopard. Okay. This is leopard. So you will match it here. Patterns on the animals are due to the hair on their skin. Children, they look beautiful because of their hair on the skin. Okay. All those patterns which you have seen now of tiger, giraffe or squirrel. That pattern is due to its hair. Have you ever seen an animal without hair or whose hair has have been removed? Or whose hair or whose hair have been removed? Imagine how the animals would look if it did not have any hair on its skin. There would be no patterns. You might have seen animals even below. Now you have to write down. See here there are names of animals. And put them in the animals in the table below. Like ears can be seen. Whose ears can be seen? Fox? Yes, ears can be seen. Then has hair on skin? Yes, it has hair on skin. So fox you will write here. Hmm? And then... Ears cannot be seen and has feather on the skin. Okay. So you have to write down the 
animals which have feather or they don't have now next animal is elephant elephant ha uh, ears can be seen and it has hair on skin has no hair okay does elephant has any pattern no okay sparrow sparrow has feather on the skin the sparrow will come here you can find the answer and you can write it like this in your notebook ears can be seen animals are fox elephant pig mouse cat buffalo camel cow hairs on the skin fox pig mouse cat camel cow buffalo elephant okay so accordingly you will write down the answer you can find the answer here in which list did you put the cow and the buffalo from a distance can you see hair on their skin try to go near one of them could you see the hair if you were to meet an elephant would would you dare to touch it do you know that elephant also has hair on its skin you have to put names of animals in the table above let us find out something more about them can you tell which of this animal mentioned in the list lays egg find out and write the names of these animals in the green box of which animal in the list gives birth to babies write their names in the red box now children from the above this we have uh, we have to write uh, the name of animals that lays egg write it in the green box above picture the hen lays egg frog lays eggs crow lays egg sparrow peacock lizard pigeon duck they lay eggs so you will write it in the green box and animals that give birth to babies you will write it in this red box fox mouse elephant cat camel they give birth okay buffalo pig and cow they also give birth to a baby now look again at the table of the previous page draw a line under the name of animal whose names are given are in green box put circle around the names of those animals whose names are in the red box so what did you note those animal whose ears you can see have hair on their body this animal give birth this animal give birth to the young ones those animals that do not have ear on outside do not have hair on their body this animal lay eggs have you seen animals around your house or school that have babies write their names in your notebook so have you seen any animals around uh, your house you must have seen dog pig cow cat rat that they give birth to babies have you ever kept a pet most of you must have kept a pet dog as a pet animal or cat as a pet animal so write down if you have kept a pet animal you can you must have kept fish also find out more about pet now this pet animal you have to uh, write down about it we take an example of dog as a pet animal because it's a common which animal is it so we write it we take example as dog does it have a name what it is who gave its name so whoever has given your parents or you yourself you can write it down what does it like to eat the dog likes biscuit or uh, he likes uh, dog food that you can write it here how many times a day it is given food so mostly we give as we eat three times we also feed our pet animals three times when does it sleep and how long does it sleep so you have to observe and write it is there any special way to look after this animal 
yes and how so how you take care of this animal uh, at home you have to write it if any special treatment is given yeah we give vaccination to the animals and we bathe them regularly does it get angry yes sometimes when uh, he when this animal is disturbed it gets he gets angry okay uh, when and how you have to write it down does it have hair or feather dogs they have hair on this can you see its ears yes they have an external ear is it baby or young animal or full grown so you have to write it down will this pet lay eggs or give birth dogs usually give birth to babies does it have young ones it has given baby you, you will write it otherwise you write no draw a picture of this animal and color it and give its name of your own choice so you can color the parts which have even numbers 2 4 6 8 okay what do you see so you have to find out if you color it you will find if you color it you will find a picture like this okay if you color it you will find a picture like this now what animal is this okay it's a dinosaur it's a dinosaur many many years ago there were dinosaurs on earth, on earth but not anymore now we see them in films photos and books find out more about dinosaur and share with your friends have you seen any animals that look like a dinosaur do you know its name yes lizards they look like dinosaurs find out from your elders so mostly lizards they look like a dinosaur this animal write its name do you know that this is our national animal this is tiger and it is our national animal where does it live the numbers of this animals are going down in india this is why this could be happening so this could be happening due to animal poaching like people they kill animal for their skin so uh, due to that one reason another reason is deforestation that means cutting down of trees so their habitat is lost that is the reason this animals are becoming extinct